Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and today we are going to go over the latest on Jacob Chikrin. I know, I know, this is getting crazy how much there has been going on with Chikrin, but it's a big storyline as Jacob Chikrin, again, the trade chatter continues. I think what we're trying to focus on right now on what the Coyotes are doing they're trying to gauge the real interest in Chikrin in terms of what teams are really in, into Chikrin and which teams are kind of in the mix and then who is just kind of looking to see what's out there. I think they're really trying to gauge who is the most interested and where they could really spark a deal. Now, if I'm going to be honest, this is going to go on till the summer. I unless something unless someone gives some massive trade offer that the Coyotes cannot resist before the deadline, this sounds like something that will start to roll over into the summer it's not unfortunately what gms do they will wait as long as they can to make a trade and we've seen that at the trade deadline right we see deals get done you know calls that come in after the actual deadline ends but they're in the queue for calls right so this is something similar to that and the fact that his contract still has three years left on it it ends in 2025 i don't think the coyotes are necessarily in a rush and that gives them more value. That gives value to Chikrin because they could say, well, we're just going to keep him. If the trade isn't there, we'll just keep him. And I think that's going to be prominent here over the next couple of months. But we've gotten some information in terms of who will be interested in Chikrin. And we even have a trade offer from an insider. So we'll get into some of that juicy stuff today. So Jacob Chikrin at 23 years old is... Again, a very highly regarded defenseman. And the weird thing with Chikrin is, like, he was the guy that was untouchable, like, as soon as last summer. And now, all of a sudden, Chikrin could be on his way out. Because everybody, for the longest time, everybody was available. Except Chikrin. And, and that sentiment has changed. So, like I said, he was a 2016 first round pick, 16th overall, and he's 23 years old. And the biggest, not only is he a great defenseman, he's 23 years old. He's a top pairing defenseman. Look at his pictures. The guy's jacked, right? And he's making $4.6 million per season until 2025. That is three years left on that contract. That is all good value, right? Good value contract, check. Really good defenseman, check. He's got the look, check. He's got maturity as well. He can already step in and be a top pairing defenseman. All those things add value to Chikrin. And you look at his time in the NHL. I mean, at 23 years old, you know he was playing since 2016 in his NHL draft year as a 16th overall pick. He came right into the NHL and he played 68 games that season and he that's no joke. You know, we picked up 20 points in his first NHL season. This kid is legit and from coming from Sarnia of the OHL, he's been nothing but great for the Coyotes. So, you know, you even look at the last couple years. I mean, 41 points in 56 games. Imagine a full 82 game schedule. He would have had 50 plus points as a defenseman. Like that is incredible. So, again, almost over over 300 games in the NHL, and now we're starting to get a better idea with all of that, where his value is. So, now we've already heard which teams have been interested. I, I mean, the Oilers were in the mix. The Oilers have kind of been, it's all, okay, the Oilers are not, no, they are no longer in the mix. Got it. Now, the Columbus Blue Jackets have kind of come onto the scene, and they seem like a team that could be very much interested. They do have a lot of prospects. They just made that big Seth Jones trade last summer. They could be looking for a guy to play with Zach Wierenski, who better than Jacob Chikrin, right, at 23 years old. Um, so the Blue Jackets, they have the assets, right, and a longer-term thing. The New York Rangers I could see being in the mix, but again, I think the Rangers like what they have. They've got Nils Lundqvist. They've got Keandre Miller. They got Braden Schneider last year. So I think they're more of an outside bet. But they have the prospects and cap space to get that done. And if they wanted to trade, a, I mean, as crazy as it sounds, a Capo Caco and some other prospects, they could definitely get that deal done. In terms of most value to give in terms of young guys and draft picks, the Rangers could do that. 
And imagine Chikrin with Fox. Ooh, that's a pretty, pretty lethal pairing. The Florida Panthers are the newest team to the mix. And the reason I talk about the Florida Panthers, you look at their team already, right? You've got Uyghur, you've got Ekblad, Forsling, and you dump a Jacob Chikrin in that. How good is that blue line, right? And what's even more potentially concerning in a good way is the Florida Panthers have a lot of prospects that they can give up in a deal here. Now, if you don't remember over the summer, they they acquired Sam Reinhart. They gave up some assets, but it didn't really hurt them. They still have their first round pick. They do have a prospect, Anton Lundell. He's looked good in strides this season with the Florida Panthers. And potentially Spencer Knight. That is what we've been hearing from rumors is that that is the price potentially. Again, a rumored price for a guy like Chikrin. And again, the Florida Panthers could realistically do that. And that was from uh, Jeff Merrick. So again, that that's you know from Sportsnet. He's got his little thing going. The price for the Panthers to get Chikrin would probably be, again, so he's not even saying this is a definite thing, but... This is based off of what we heard the price tag is, which is a high-end prospect, a prospect that can play right now, and a draft pick. More likely a first-round pick that fits the bill. Lundell, who is kind of a prospect right now, Knight as well, and a first-round pick. And those are all guys that could come to the NHL right away for the Coyotes and the first-round pick, which I'm sure doesn't hurt, right? So, And even that, realistically... You know, that's almost like an Eichel trade. Realistically, they could get more for Chikrin, who's healthy, you know, on the market. So I figured that was kind of interesting. And like I said, just to give credit, uh, the Blue Jackets, Rangers, and Panthers are in on the Jacob Chikrin sweepstakes. And that was from Elliot Friedman. So again, the key thing from all of those new teams that are mentioned, they have the depth of prospects and the draft picks. And that's, if you have those things, money talks. And I think there would definitely be some interest from some of those teams. So guys, that is it for today's video. If you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, and more videos just like this one, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. And I will see you again next time.